In order to fully understand clinical significance, it is helpful to have an understanding of confidence intervals. So please take a look at our short video on that subject before going further. Now, we all know that there is no such thing as a free lunch, and that's especially true of public health decision making. Every intervention and policy decision requires an investment of human and financial resources, so we want to be sure what we're investing in is worthwhile. While statistical significance tells us how confident we can be that the effect of an intervention is true or real, it tells us nothing about whether the effect is big enough to warrant implementing it. Clinical significance pushes us to assess whether the size of the effect is big enough to justify the investment required to implement the intervention. To assess clinical significance, we need to look to the 95% confidence interval. Let's look at an example of the creation of bike paths as a strategy to increase physical activity. This hypothetical study showed that bike paths led people to increase their physical activity by an average of 30 minutes per week. However, the 95% confidence interval tells a different story because it reveals that the true effect ranges anywhere from 10 to 50 minutes. In other words, if this study was conducted 100 times, the true effect would lie anywhere between a 10 to a 50 minute increase in physical activity 95 times out of 100. We know we have a statistically significant finding because both ends of the confidence interval show an increase in physical activity. So far, so good. Now we need to decide whether the expected increase in physical activity is worth the investment of building bike paths, essentially weighing our options. This is called looking at clinical significance, rather than relying only on whether the findings are statistically significant. When we consider the upper limit of our confidence interval, increasing physical activity by 50 minutes a week seems like a fairly large effect and one that we'd be happy to see in our population. But when we consider the lower limit of our confidence interval, an increase of 10 minutes of physical activity per week is not nearly as impressive and may not result in improved health outcomes. Since an increase of 10 minutes is as likely as an increase of any other amount up to 50 minutes, we have to decide if the effect at the low end of the confidence interval is worth the investment that creating bike paths requires. Some might look at this and decide that any increase in physical activity is good enough to warrant the resources to create bike paths. Others might decide that activity at the low end is not large enough to justify the investment. This is what assessing clinical significance is all about. Keep in mind that there is not always a single correct answer when it comes to clinical significance. Everyone has their own set of circumstances that will affect the way in which research results are interpreted. When taking a look at any research, consider both ends of the confidence interval. You'll be able to determine the clinical significance of the research findings you are considering and make better informed decisions about what is best for your population.